So many people who have done a practitioner training or a master practitioner training, uh, the usual kind of more uh, personal development or therapy oriented program will then come to me and say, well, okay, I've had these trainings, but how do I use this in business? And the answer is, well, you have to understand that those trainings that you attended were taking principles which are universal and which go across all applications of NLP and uh, applied them in the context of personal development, learning, uh, therapy. That's where they came from originally, and there's not a lot of change that's happened in how most people learn them. This is also the why most trainers of NLP are unaware that many of the things that they're teaching as techniques are not techniques of change, but they illustrate principles. They illustrate how certain things work. Um, so, for example, if you've done a practitioner course, then you were taught how to do the Faust phobia cure. The mechanism by which the Faust phobia cure operates is disassociation. And in most instances, you're taught triple disassociation, which is disassociating from uh, a point of view or perspective uh, where the event is happening to you, um, and then disassociating from um, you know, imagining that you can see yourself looking at yourself. That's the second disassociation. And then a third disassociation um, uh, of seeing yourself, seeing yourself. So you're basically constructing alternate points of view. And when you do that and then run through the content, you don't have enough processing power left in your brain in order to reconstruct the bad feelings that went along with the experience. You're watching and in that watching and getting the information and uh, information that you didn't notice at the time or typically wouldn't notice while you were running through the habit of reacting and screaming and shouting and panicking and all the rest of that, um, which you then bring into your life in order to create change. That the disassociation as the uh, therapeutic tool is also used extensively in the business environment, in persuasion, in communication, where you're attempting to either persuade or create representations of things that people need to understand. There are some things that people need to um, be right there with, be right in the mix with, be right in the middle of. We call that, what kind of representations? This is a test. Those are associated representations. But other times, it's probably not a good idea to have them associating into um, unpleasant circumstances. Uh, if they're persuaded that they are absolutely right when they're absolutely wrong, uh, there are times when uh, having them just step back, take a bigger view of this, look at the big picture, these kind of things, is a better move. That's where the disassociation um, becomes a part of how you are applying the principles that you learned in the program. This isn't taught. Now, through the, through the years, I've also noticed that people who come to me from uh, other training institutes who claim that they've had business training uh, with an LP, they didn't get it either. They were maybe given a handful of um, techniques, uh, a handful of meeting formats and those kinds of things, but not how the principles apply but in a different way. This can be remedied, um, but it's a different kind of program and a different kind of attitude. There are certain things around, for example, how you uh, orientate yourself to your managing, your coaching, your mentoring, your facilitating, your leading, et cetera, et cetera. Different, different ways of managing and controlling your state, different ways of using your body, using language than you might have heard about or learned about in the public courses. That's, that's quite natural, quite natural. The other thing is, unless you have a modeler, somebody who is, who is actually a modeler teaching you uh, how these things are used, then you're not going to get some of the uh, expert models and expert approaches that you can only pick up by being in the room with these tremendous performers, these outliers. So um, there are differences. There are things like, for example, let me give you an example. Uh, if you're problem solving or uh, you have to uh, 
uh, assist someone in figuring out the way forward. It's not about you coming in there with the perfect technique uh, and giving them this resource and forcing them to go through it that makes the change happen. But instead, through the questions that you ask, how you ask and what you ask, which allows you to find out not just what needs to happen, but with a clear view on the system that they're in at the moment, the system where they are, the stable system that allows whatever the behavior is, the behavior that's been identified as being um, no good, not useful, uh, something that has to go, what makes that the correct response to that stable system? And then designing a new system, which also has to be stable. How do you make the move from one stable system to another? That is not part of your practitioner curriculum. That is part of the work that I do in teaching consultancy skills, problem solving skills and leadership skills, because without it, you are not going to be able to draw those deep and appropriate inferences that make it look like you're a mind reader. But actually, you're just asking better questions about how systems, individuals, but also groups and teams, how they're working. It's not about having yet another model. This is using the NLP model in itself. There are tools within NLP. There's the framing tool that we have, um, which allows you to get orientated in a unique and deep way to someone else's mapper model of the world and to create the kinds of questions and the kinds of suggestions and, and the, the ways of explaining that make it so that you're right there inside someone's map and model. There's no resistance because you're not trying to push anything on them. You make it possible to build a bridge from the inside out so that they can just walk that bridge and come into a new place and see things differently. Just that simple understanding of inside someone's mapper model or outside someone's mapper model and what that means functionally can make a huge difference in how you ask questions and how you formulate your suggestions. All of these things are typically not taught in your ordinary practitioner and master practitioner course. There's a lot more to it, but uh, NLP Times has said, I must keep this short. Otherwise, they're going to come and get me. Um, <laughs> We got a lot of products and a lot of stuff where uh, these learnings and, and information is there. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it to your discretion and interactions at nlptimes.com and with uh, Mr. O'Connor. And you can see if there's something there that will help you to cross the bridge for yourself.